Welcome, everyone, to the ultimate game in the college football season. Everything has built to this, the battle for the national championship and college football immortality, a moment that every young football player grows up dreaming about. And these two teams have survived the expanded playoff grind. They have battled through a regular season, multiple playoff victories, all sorts of challenges and adversity, and they've arrived at this moment to battle for that precious trophy. As we'll see, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish taking on a team from the SEC, the Alabama Crimson Tide. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined as always by Kirk Herbstreit. And this is it. Two teams enter, one team leaves here as national champions. Let's get this going. Here we go with the kickoff. This is it, the ultimate game in college football, national championship at stake. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So Alabama's offense trots out there to open this game. And here comes one of the elite running backs in all of college football. When he gets the ball in his hands, it's just hold your breath time, Kirk. He's been electrifying. He sure is. The embodiment of a superstar. The bona fide runner with ill intentions for the defense. This offense leans on him, and there aren't very many times that he doesn't come through for it. And he's out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Boy, a nice call here to start this national championship game off with a physical run. I think this offensive line has been a strength all year long, and here they get this game started the right way. Come to the line for second down and very short now. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. The key on the third down between a quarterback and a wide receiver is the timer. That quarterback knows that he's got to get the ball out quickly and on time to give his receiver a chance to not just make the catch and stay in bounds, but to be able to give him a chance to maybe get upfield and make a play. Going to run it. It's Haynes. That's the spin move. Really solid first down gain. He's just short of the marker, so maybe a chance here to take a downfield shot. Boy, positive yards there on first and ten. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second inches. Now it's second down here. Here's the option play. He'll toss it to the back. Brought down quickly after the pitch. The defense reading that option very well. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. And they pick up the first on the ground. They make the stop just short of the mark where it's getting fourth down and inches. The punt team making their way on the field. They'll aim it toward the sideline. Solid punt. It looks like no return here as that punt heads out of bounds. So Notre Dame's offense out there for their first possession. All right, Kirk, let's take a quick look at the impact players for today's game and how they're going to affect the outcome. These are your leaders on the field and in the locker room. These are your go-to guys, not only when you need a play to be made, but also when you need somebody to rally your team. Looks downfield and connects with a wide-open wide receiver. Tackle finally made, but it's a huge game. They'll spot it at the 34. Boy, a huge play by this offense. A good throw, a nice, accurate throw. But I think it's the run after the catch that really impresses me. And early in this game, you got to think they're going to continue to go back to him until this defense shows that they can slow him down. Notre Dame comes to the line quickly. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And he'll be smothered right at the line for no gain.
Here's the second down play. To throw, it's Leonard. Makes a quick catch. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the marker, inches away. We'll see if the defense stays in zone after that big play, or if they can change things up on this drive and get a little bit more aggressive. So now it's third and short from the plus 24. Could be four down territory. Interesting to see what the call is here. Quarterback keeps the football. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. You know, it's not always the flashy play. It's not always you have to throw for a big touchdown or make a huge run as a quarterback. Sometimes it's just being efficient. Take what the defense gives you, move the sticks, keep the drive alive. That's the energy, that's the momentum you really want to play with as a quarterback. From inside the red zone, they're looking to throw. Tight end makes the grab. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. Catch hauled in here over the middle. They bring him down, but the game sets up the offense first and goal from the 10. Not huge yards, but all that matters is he catches the ball, secures it, and picks up first down yardage. The Irish offense comes up here on first and goal. And looks like the quarterback's going to run it. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Man, when your quarterback can run the football like this, it puts so much pressure on the defense. The defense coordinator spent all week preparing his unit to be able to stop this offense. But when this quarterback's able to pull it down and pick up yards like that, it's an extra headache for the defense to have to deal with. Quarterback still with the football. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. When the linebacker is really the quarterback of the defense on this play, diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly. He just flew in and blew up the option play for a loss. Ball spotted at the five for this third and goal play. Scanning the field, it's Leonard. Makes the catch, can he get in? He makes it to the end zone. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Oh, just outstanding execution here by this offense. The offensive line gives the quarterback time, and the quarterback's anticipation was on point. Puts that ball right in the money. The receiver, all he had to do was turn and catch the ball for that touchdown. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT makes it 7-0. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 20, tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They were forced to punt it away last time, so let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. That's a solid game, moves the ball to the 29. Second down after that run on the previous play. And he'll set up to throw. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty brings up third down. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. So a very makeable third down for the offense from the 29. They'll try to run for the first down. 
tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, it's a great job here by this offensive line and the running back to be able to pick up the first down. Let's face it, they've dug themselves a hole here in this first half. The only way they can get back into this game is converting on third down. It's exactly what they were able to do, get a new set of downs and a chance to put points on the board. There's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. Caught in the backfield, it's Miller. Defense surrounds him, just a short gain on that completion. getting set second down play here bakes the handoff looking to throw grab down the middle it's law oh and nothing but green grass ahead touchdown tied made the defense look slow that time chris as you know anytime you hit a big post route like this for a touchdown the timing between the quarterback and the receiver is essential. Nice job of not waiting too long. Quarterback takes a hitch, gets the ball out early, and allows his receiver to run underneath the beautifully thrown football for the touchdown. And they'll set up for the PAT. And he knocks it right through. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. So here comes the Notre Dame offense back onto the field. They scored a touchdown in their last possession. Let's see if this defense can make adjustments and prevent that this time. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Second down after that run on the previous play. Looking downfield, it's Leonard. And he dumps it off to the tight end. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. Well, they don't pick up the first down here, but if you can use the quick passing game to stay ahead of the chains, it definitely helps your offense. And if that defense starts to creep up to take that away, that's when you can take a shot downfield. Third down upcoming after that completion. There's the snap. They'll set up the throw. Freshman introducing himself to the quarterback there. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Punt team ready to boot it away. And the ball fair caught right at midfield. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. The passing game was so effective in the last position. Right down for a touchdown. We'll see if the defense can make adjustments. He makes the grab. And he goes down after a solid game on the play. That's enough for a fresh set of downs for this offense. When you throw an out route against man coverage, man, it puts a premium on a receiver who can set up the defensive back to be able to still have room to get to the outside and be timed up with a quarterback. That was great execution. Kibbe decides to keep it here. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. What a great job of playing assignment football here against the option by this defense. Every aspect of that play was taken away. The quarterback got into desperation mode and loses yards. Now they're behind the sticks. What's the play hole here on second down for this offense? And the back now goes in motion to throw. It's Milrow. Fires it to the wide out. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. 
The tackle is made, but the offense is now set up with a first and goal from the eighth. That's a great job of working the middle of the field by this quarterback, and he picks up big yards. The tied offense line up here on first and goal. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. And they finally stop him at the three. The offense really threatening now. A pretty good push up front here by this offense line to get some positive yards here. You wonder if they're going to be able to run it in, or they're going to have to spread this defense out and try to find a one-on-one -on -one matchup and put the ball through the air for the touchdown. It's a second and goal play for the offense. Keep it on the ground, trying to power in for the touchdown. Defense will make this stop and what will probably be the final play of this opening quarter. So after a competitive, fun first quarter, we are all even. Let's check out some of the stats from that first period. And after a promising start, we hope that both these teams will just continue with more of this action. They come up two yards from the goal line. Can they punch it in here on third down? A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he will score. Touchdown, Bama. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the extra point makes the lead 14-7. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Bringing it out, it's Price. He's tackled at the 17, so it would have been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Notre Dame offense back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this route? Football comes out. Defense recovers the fumble. It's a turnover. You know, with wide receivers, we get enamored with their size and their speed and their versatility and their ability to make plays after the catch. But none of those things are more important than taking care of the ball. He makes the catch, but he doesn't secure the football, and it's a fumble. Offense makes their way on the field. Takes the ball, tries the right side here. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. Second down play coming up for this offense. Back in motion now. Scanning the field. It's Milrow. Going for a big play downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge game here. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Oh, this is how you start to get rolling. That's two touchdowns so far. And the more he gets fed, the more often he's going to cash in. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good. They're pulling ahead now, 21-7. Now they get set to kick it away. And 
And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And the Fighting Irish offense is back on the field. The last possession ended in a fumble, and that set up a touchdown. So they got to bounce back from that right away. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Second down after that run on the previous play. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Caught near the sticks. It's Mitchell. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint inside the 20. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Iris. Chris, how about that? A quick slant that goes for this many yards and a touchdown? That's what's so dangerous about this quarterback and wide receiver. Quarterback puts the ball right on the money, and by doing so, look at the receiver. Catches it in stride and has all that room to run after the catch for that touchdown. Now the important point after attempt. The extra point is good. We're down by a touchdown, 21-14. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Turn starts from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. A little bit of my turn, your turn on the early going here. Both offenses scoring touchdowns in the last possession. It's a solid game. Moves the ball out to the 28. Well, I know people want to talk about the spread, and Alabama's offense has changed over the years, but at the end of the day, with this coaching staff, it still comes down to the line of scrimmage and the ability to pound the rock. Think about the backs they've had in recent years. Mark Ingram and Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry, Jameer Gibbs most recently. This is an offense that still wants to control things up front and beat you down. Makes the grab. It's Prentice. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Chris, the more we watch these spread offenses attack in today's game, it's not just about the vertical shots with the taller receivers on the outside. Defenses are challenged even more by those smaller slot receivers and their quickness in space. That completion makes it second and medium. Looking for some space. It's Haynes. They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. But I feel like they called that knowing chances are they're not going to hit a home run. But look at this. Put themselves in a perfect third down situation. It's much more manageable. Now we'll see if they can convert. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. And he's brought down just short of the marker on that play. Good job by the defense to prevent the first down. Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now, they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. He'll field the punt. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Fighting Irish offense comes back out onto the field. They scored a touchdown on the last possession. Let's see if this defense has been able to come up with some adjustments and stop them this time. The game makes it second and medium. Give it to the back again. The tackle is made, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what that's about.
costly holding penalty there. Backs him up 10 yards. Important second down play coming up. Looking to pass. It's Leonard. Quick throw complete to the tight end. But he's hammered by the linebacker. What a hit. So it's third and long from the 29. Defense figures to bring pressure here. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. He's going to take off. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. And the punt team makes its way onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. He's going to try to return the punt. And the coverage team able to bring him down. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. They're looking to build on the lead. They had to punt the football in their last possession. Looking for a gap. It's Haynes. The game is four, so it's second and six. Drops back, probing the secondary. It's an out route. The catch made. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. The defense is spread all over the field, creating some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and a quarterback makes them pay for it. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. And they tackle him, but a nice pickup on that running play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Off play action, he's looking to throw. Let's him fly out of the wide out. He's got it near the end zone. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. Well, this is a beautiful play when the timing is right, as we see right here. The receiver's got to do a good job of working his way back to the football as the quarterback is throwing it. The timing here is impeccable. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. They try to muscle toward the end zone on the ground. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. But it's tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line. Eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Ball moved back to the four for second and goal. That's a design quarterback keeper. Ball is three in the backfield. Offense recovers the fumble, maintains possession. The offensive staff just took a collective sigh of relief. But I'd still anticipate that someone's going to pull that ball carrier aside, give him a couple choice words on the importance of ball security. Third down and goal. Big play coming up here in the red zone. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. The defense all over it. They stop him right at the line. Well, Chris, we're still here in the first half, but you got to wonder after that stop there on third down. Now we got a fourth down situation, and now you're in the red zone. I wonder, you want to take the three points the easy way, or do you roll the dice and try to take a chance and try to come up with a touchdown? So they'll settle for a field goal attempt here. This is going to be a 21-yard chip shot, and the field goal is good, and they add to their lead. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points.
Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fielded in the end zone. It's Price. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. So here comes the Notre Dame offense back onto the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Leonard. Receiver makes the grab, breaks one tackle, gets brought down, but picks up some decent yardage. You know, they don't pick up the first down here, but they do get some positive yards, and I really like the route to get enough separation to give the quarterback enough room to put it in there. That completion sets up a third down play. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. They'll try to pick up the third down yardage on the ground. Tackle right at the 30, good enough to move the sticks. And a player is down injured after that last play. We'll take a timeout while they check him out. Notre Dame getting set with a first and 10 coming up. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Snags a quick throw. He has first down yardage at the 46. This Notre Dame offense is moving quickly down the field. That's the two-minute warning. Let's see if this offense can do something before the break to cut into this big lead. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? And the quarterback drops back looking for an open man. Grab behind the line. It's low. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. That completion makes it second and medium. Here's the snap. Quarterback drops back. Short connection to the tight end here. Good enough for first down yardage. Notre Dame comes to the line quickly. Back to throw. It's Leonard. And the receiver snags it. It's complete. Breaks the tackle. Gets into the clear. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Boy, a great job of coming up with a huge play by this offense. A nice pass by the quarterback. And you look at the time here before we get to the half. They got a real shot here to put a touchdown up on the board. Notre Dame has moved now into the red zone. First down, looking to throw the ball. He's got it, looking for the end zone. Tackled at the six-yard line after the completion. Offense really threatening now. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Who says you need explosive plays, Kirk? That was a long, grinding scoring drive. And think about this. This is a national championship. And you're able to execute like that against this quality of a defense. Man, that is a great job by the coordinator and the quarterback being in sync and putting together a heck of a drive. Now, here comes the point after attempt.
PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. Fields it just outside the goal line. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. Let's see how the offense plays it here. Not much time remaining if they want to get a chunk play, put him in scoring position before the half. And the offense will take their first time out of the half to talk strategy here. That completion makes it second and short. Dropping back, it's Milrow. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. This quarterback's got to be so frustrated. He's got an open receiver. He makes a good throw with a good route from his intended target. But this defensive back makes a heck of a play on the ball and knocks it away. It's off the incompletion. It sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Catch made on the right side. That's a big gain. And that gain enough for a fresh set of downs. Spotted at the 48. Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Catch made by the tight end. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Alabama getting set for the first and 10 now. Quarterback drops back. A short pass finds the tight end. They make the tackle, but not before a solid gain on that pass. Timeout is called to talk strategy. Time for just one or two plays here before halftime. So on second down, they'll try it out the field goal unit, trying to get three before halftime. He was on the mark with his last kick, but this one is from 48 yards out. And he's got it from 48 yards out, showing off the big leg. The defensive penalty is declined. Offense very happy to take the result of that play. So here's the kickoff now. Offense settling for three, tacking on a little bit of momentum before the halftime break. And he'll bring it out from inside the ten. They make the tackle as time expires. That'll do it for the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Chris, thanks. What else might we expect in a game of this magnitude? Everything on the line, the eyes of the sports world on this battle with the coveted gold trophy at stake. Each of these two offenses has looked like well-oiled machines, but it doesn't take a genius to figure out these two passing attacks have run circles around these defenses. Man or zone, nothing seems to be working, and I'm not sure that defensive coordinator is going to be able to figure things out here at halftime. And with that, Let's send it back to Chris and Kirk. Fellas, hard to believe we're only one half away from crowning a national champion. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Notre Dame offense back out on the field. We get the second half started with a running play. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. But throughout this game, they've shown a number of their base run plays in the first half, so it's good to mix in the counter here in the second half just in case the defense is starting to over-pursue. Keep an eye on if they pull that play again maybe later in this game. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. Makes the catch for the defense. Breaks in the ball, and it's a short game. So the offense faces a third and manageable here from the 25-yard line.
try and muscle for the first down. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And the punt team now on to kick it away. Oh, and he's got a crease here. Look yeah. out. Finally forced out of bounds, but a solid return that time. Here comes the Crimson Tide offense onto the field. Settled for a field goal last time out. Can they open things up on this possession? The sure hands. It's Prentice. Tackle made after a big game. Man, this wide receiver has been a difference maker in this football game. He's got two touchdowns already. Now they look to him again, and he picks up the first down. Alabama comes up to the line quickly. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. getting set up. Here's second down. To throw. It's Milrow. Fires it to the wideout. Touchdown, Alabama. This offense cannot be stopped. Another touchdown strike. You win national championships with elite quarterback play. And Kirk, this guy's putting on a show. I mean, this is a national championship. You imagine having this kind of performance? This is something that we'll always remember. Right now, this defense is overmatched with his ability to throw the ball and the receivers' jobs of running routes. Everything's in sync right now. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. And he's not going to get there. Stop short. Missed opportunity to build this lead. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Fighting Irish offense is back on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. He's moving out of the pocket. Using his legs on the scramble. He'll avoid the big hit with the slide. Well, how about this by the quarterback? He takes a negative play and turns it into positive yards and slides down before taking a big shot. It's an excellent job of getting down to avoid that big hit. Second down after that previous play. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Stop right there at the line, no game. Well, how about this defense? Just so physical against the run. These guys have not been able to do anything on the ground, and it's because of that defensive line and those linebackers taking away the run game. Third down. This offense could really use a conversion here, down multiple scores. To the air, it's Leonard. And the quarterback finds the tight end for the completion. They bring him down, but the drive has now reached the 35. It's a good call against man coverage, but the execution made the play there. Notre Dame getting set with a first and 10 now. We'll give it to the running back. It's a one-yard game, second and nine coming up. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. The throw complete to the running back underneath. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker.
Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 42. Can they make the yardage or face a tricky fourth down decision? Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. They bring the punter onto the field now. He'll call for the fair catch here. Alabama's offense coming back onto the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again, or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. fake looking to throw that one falls incomplete looking for a flag doesn't get it brings up third down well this quarterback and his receivers have got to get on the same page they've got to find a rhythm if they want to move the ball down the field after the incompletion they'll face a third and six dropping back we're going to throw for the first down He's a wide open receiver, complete. Breaks clear, end zone ahead. They finally tackle him at the four. That's a solid gain on the pitch and catch. Boy, third down, you know you're going to get a lot of pressure from this defense. Quarterback's protected, does a great job of putting that ball where his receiver can make a play on it. What I love is what this guy does after the catch to picking up huge yards to set up now a first and goal. Alabama's offense now lining up on first and goal. Ball handed off. Couldn't quite get there. Brought down at the two. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Looking to throw. It's Milrow. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown. Tied. That's another strike for this quarterback, Kirk. He is having himself a day. This guy's just having one of those days you dream about against this secondary. But let's also give credit to the wide receivers doing a nice job of getting open and the big fellas up front for giving him enough time to throw. Lining up to try the extra point. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Fighting Irish offense comes back out onto the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. The sophomore with a strong tackle there. Getting set. Here's second down. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Gets the ball up as he's hit, but it's incomplete. We finally see a change up from this defense. It has been a long game for this defensive coordinator, 
A lot of touchdown passes. They finally find a way to affect the timing with between the quarterback and his receivers by getting pressure. Third down. The offense desperately needs a conversion here, trailing in the third quarter. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, boy, you really allow this defense to dictate things and it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing as we saw on this play. Third down try fails and they'll punt it. Oh, and he's got some space here. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Here comes the Alabama offense onto the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. Can they keep it going? Hawk over the middle. It's Prentiss. They make the tackle, but that pass creates a solid game. Second down play coming up. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. That game sets up a third down play. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Brought down at the 40. That'll be a first down. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. Caught over the middle by the tight end. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yards on the play. Chris, after this last play, he's now over 400 yards passing on the day. Are you kidding me? This Alabama offense is moving quickly down the field. Looking to throw it from the red zone. Catch made on the left side. The stop made at the five. The offense will have first and goal now. Another big game by this wide receiver. This guy has had a great year all season long. You knew coming into the national championship he'd have a shot to make a lot of big plays. But give credit to the offense coordinator. Moving him around, allowing him to find space to do work. First and goal, handoff. And he's brought down there. facing second and goal. Dropping back. It's Milrow. Touchdown, Bama. And this one is getting ugly. Great job here by the play caller going to that five wide receiver set. You put all these guys out in space and create one-on-one -on -one matchups. It's very tough on this defense to try to win all the matchups and give the quarterback credit for being able to find where he wanted to go to be able to come up with that touchdown. And they'll set up with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So here comes the Notre Dame offense back onto the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? And he's got his man open downfield. And that will pick up a first down. They'll spot it at 38. 
That last catch, Kirk, puts him over 150 receiving yards in the game. Let's start checking the record books. This guy's making a, a push. Yeah, it, it really doesn't matter what the defensive coordinator calls, whether they play man, whether they play zone. The quarterback has been able to find this guy all day long for such a huge day. And now the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. So Alabama will take the lead into the quarter break here. So three quarters complete in this battle to crown a national championship. Before moving on, let's check out the game summary so far. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. Back to pass. It's Leonard. The pass rush closing in. Using his legs here. They finally get him down, but that is a huge play. Quarterback doing it with his legs. Man, nothing is more aggravating for a defensive coordinator than this right here. You've got him. You've got a chance to make a play on him, take him out of his rhythm, but instead, this guy gets away from that pressure, tucks it, and picks up some big yards. The short completion of the tight end. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. Chris, we get so caught up in these wide receivers and their playmaking ability and getting them the ball in space. And, like, the defense has to pay attention to them. Often too much attention opens up an underneath drag route like this, and quarterback makes a good read. Nice first down. Notre Dame getting set with a first and 10 coming up. From the shotgun, drops back. And it's complete downfield. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Notre Dame now operating in the red zone. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Not exactly the outcome this offense was hoping for here on the option. They didn't lose any yards, which is great. I think they're definitely looking for more from that play. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Using his legs, it's Price. And they try the middle, but stuck for no gain. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. To the air, it's Leonard. Caught near the goal line. And he's in. Touchdown, Fighting Irish. Well, the call was sort of predictable, Kirk, but that tight end is just so tough to stop down here in the red zone. Listen, speaking on behalf of all quarterbacks, you get down in the red zone, you're looking for that big target that you can trust. He's going to run a good route. And he's got a big wingspan to allow you to make a throw up into the air. He can go up and make a catch over most defenders. Really good execution. They come up with six. Now the all-important extra point. And it's up and good. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. So here comes the Alabama offense back onto the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments, come up with a stop here? Second down after that run on the previous play. A handoff from the shotgun. 
Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. So from the 28-yard line, it's a third and manageable here. And the wideout goes in motion. Running play called on third and short. He's tackled short of the 30, but that's good enough for a first down. Boy, just a blown opportunity here by this defense. They got him to third down, a chance to potentially get them off the field. And the fact that they're trailing, they needed to make a play. But you got to give credit to this offense. In the national championship, that big offensive line opened up a hole, and they pick up the first down and keep working clock. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. Defense is coming after him. Finds a man open on the right side downfield. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game. And it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Brought down the crosses midfield to the 46. Uh, you're starting to see this defense, I think, wear down now that we're in the fourth quarter. It's been a tough day for them, and the offense is taking advantage of it. A lot of positive plays. Good job of eating as much clock as they can here on this drive in the fourth quarter. There's a first and ten play. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Second down after that run on the previous play. It's a shotgun run call. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Dropping back, it's Milrow. Receiver makes the catch. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Another big play for this offense, Kirk. They are not throttling back here even with a comfortable lead in the fourth quarter. Man, this defensive coverage seems one step behind the entire game. Even when they call the right coverage, the offense has made the plays that they need to to be able to put points on the board. Here comes a first down pass attempt. Grab made by the tight end. Brought down at the seven. The completion moves him closer to the goal line. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Stretching the lead. This one is getting ugly. They're set now to try the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. Bringing it out, it's Price. Tackled at the 14. Not very good field position to start here. And the Notre Dame offense back out on the field. On first and 10, looking to throw. Looking for the wideout. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. 
They make the stop, but not before a solid game that time. But one thing we know for sure, I don't know as a play caller, you can make that call without a quarterback who can throw it with a big arm. He put that on a rope. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Back to pass. It's Leonard. Quick throw to his receiver. He's got it for a big game. Tackle made after a nice pickup on the play. This is turning into a monster day for this quarterback, Kirk. His passing yards now up over 350. Yeah, and it seems like this defense has tried everything. They're blitzing. They're sitting back in zone. They're trying to double coverage certain receivers. Uh, everything that they've tried is, unfortunately for them, not working because of how well this quarterback is seeing it and throwing today. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. That's good timing there. Receiver makes the catch and then has some room to run. Yeah, anytime you're going to run a route like this, you know who needs to get a lot of credit is the offensive line because this play takes some time for the receiver to work his way across the field on that drag route, and the quarterback that time had enough time to be able to navigate the coverage and make the accurate throw. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Grab down the middle. It's low. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Notre Dame getting set with a first and 10 now. It's a quarterback keeper. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Oh, my gosh. Give this defense all the credit in the world. They had their eyes in the right position playing assignment football. Quarterback just looking for daylight. Couldn't find anywhere to go there on the keeper on the option. Again, that's great assignment football by the defense. Offense getting set. It's second down. From the shotgun. Drops back looking for an open man. And he's going to fling it deep. Going for it all here. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. This is smart defense. When you're trying to protect the lead late in the game, you know they're going to take some shots. Get those safeties and those defensive backs back far, anticipating a deep throw, and knock the ball away. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Quick throw to the left. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Irish. Kirk, you play quarterback. How about appreciating a receiver that runs his routes that precisely? Chris, it's not just his route running. It's the chemistry between the quarterback and the receiver that really, I think, is unique. They put so much time into this in the offseason. By the time they get to Saturdays, you can close your eyes and make your throw. It's exactly what we saw right there. Here comes the point after attempt. And the PAT is good. I believe they're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hands seem able to recover the football. Well, Chris, as you know, this is one of the toughest things to do in all of football, trying to recover the onside kick. But let's give credit to the hands team there for coming down with that ball for the return unit. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. Yeah, I like this call here late in a game like this with the lead. Nothing too fancy, just right up the middle. Trust that offensive line and this running back and just keep working that clock. Second down here, time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. And that's the two-minute warning. And this offense looking to run out the clock and secure an impressive win here today. Now it's second down here. They'll use that running game, trying to bleed the clock here. And he'll get the first down yards before they finally bring him down. Just what a great battle here at the line of scrimmage. Good push by the offensive line, and the back does enough to be able to pick up the first down. 
How aggressive do you get on first and ten? That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Takes the handoff. It's Haynes. Now this defense is going to have to mix up some looks because this back has had a monster day in the national championship. Running inside, running outside. The defense has got to do a good job of locking in on him to negate his big playability. Second down after that run on the previous play. Handoff here from the shotgun. Picks up the first, looking for more. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. What a shot, right? I mean, this guy once again gets his hands on the football, and great things seems to happen. He's over 120 yards on the day, and it's really been a combination of his vision and speed along with really dominant offensive line play. Alabama has now moved into the red zone. Offense switches it up here, looking to throw the ball now. Pressure is coming. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. And that'll do it. We have a national champion.